Our news of that planned upgrade to the nationwide broadband already driving some companies to improve their own hardware. They're looking to double their yearly budget on newer laptops and router upgrades to tap faster internet speeds and to develop new products. But industry players say more needs to be done to level the playing field so that smaller firms can also benefit. Nadira Zaidi reports. For this security company, having 10 times faster network speed means they can offer real-time security streaming, something not possible with the current network speed. So what are some of the things that you know, we would then be able to, to see? Intrusion, we can see mood, behavior, we can see there's danger. Are there little kids running on the street? You know, did an old, older person, an elderly person fall down and nobody's going in front of him, right, to help him up? Or, you know, he's been lying there for three minutes or five minutes. Cloud video analytics would be able to do all that. Another firm in the telemedicine industry says this higher network speed will allow them to expand their offerings. For instance, tracking nutrition of meals to help patients make healthier choices, or even uploading their audio heart sounds to make diagnosis more accurate. But more needs to be done to make this work. When things uh, like uh, more data is required, uh, higher speed transmission is required. Basically, what we need now is the, the last part where you get the connection from the internet to the doctors and to the patient's devices. So that part is where the upgrade needs to take place and that can you know, be in terms of the routers, switches or, or access points being provided. An association representing tech firms in Singapore says that these network upgrades could cost anything between thousands and millions of dollars, something smaller companies might not be able to afford. We have to ensure that the opportunities and possibilities that our investments bring is accessible so as not to create a digital divide uh, as an unintended consequence. So actually that hopes that the government will work with us to design programs to assist SMEs in assessing and utilising these resources. We need technology to be the equaliser and not the divider. Still, he says the upgraded network will improve current applications like in autonomous vehicles and make never-before-seen innovations a reality.